I'm Edward Ripley Duggan, the sales specialist. I'd like to tell you about the wonderful collection of Edward Gorey that Doyle will be offering on February the 25th. Edward Gorey, who was born February 22nd, 1925, was an extraordinarily prolific illustrator. Beloved for his macabre and disquieting visual narratives, he started his career working for the art department of Doubleday Anchor. His first separately published illustrated book, The Unstrung Harp, or Mr. Earbrass Writes a Novel, was published in 1953, and in 1959 received his first important critical notice from the great American critic Edmund Wilson. Wilson described Gorey's world as poetic and poisoned. Additionally, he provided illustrations for almost as many works again by other authors. Dust jacket and paperback cover designs by the hundred, posters, periodical illustrations, etc. My young friend behind me here was issued with the headless bust, a late production of Gorey's that was issued by the Gotham Book Mart. And there are several copies of the book in the sale, all of them with their accompanying humbug. The present collection that Doyle offers for sale at auction is far from all-inclusive, but it offers major works from all of the categories above, and those usually in fine examples. The collection is especially rich in retained copies, and there are many rarities, including a binding proof with Gorey's hand coloring of the tutu of the Lavender Leotard, with a presentation to the publisher, a copy of Illegitimate Sonnets, Gorey's first commercially published illustrations inscribed by the author Merrill Moore to the poet Robert Lowell and his wife. Finally, a delightful manuscript of a children's story entitled Can a Pig Fly? You can find the auction, a collection of Edward Gorey, online at doyle.com.